So as part of our action plan, we try every time to organize intergenerational dialogues, whatever we go on missions or you know, separate programs at national, regional level. And today I was really, really excited about this intergenerational dialogue uh, in South Sudan that we managed to do for about three hours. Young people really being bold and vocal and raising very critical questions and challenges they're facing and also challenging the leadership. And that's the idea of the dialogue. Today has been quite helpful because it's been an eye-opener. Personally, for one, I didn't, I almost lost hope on issues of peace. But now that um, from today's discussion, I think that I myself as an individual or I myself as a, as a South Sudanese, I do have a role I need to play as a youth and above all as a girl child. Intergenerational dialogue is really important because it allows younger leaders to learn from um, their elders. Well, young people are learning learning from the older generation and co-leading change. And please try us because we want to co-lead with you. This is your time. This more than ever, this is your time. Prenez votre responsabilité. N'ayez pas peur. Pour uh, le bien de la paix et de la sécurité dans notre continent. Et c'est ensemble que nous allons, nous, uh, relativement anciens et les jeunes, nous allons changer les choses sur le continent. For me, the intergenerational discussion should continue. I am calling upon leaders to support intergenerational co-leadership. Co-leadership leads to co-production of policies. And when you co-produce policies with the youth, who are the majority, then implementation is easier. We know that if we engage you more, we will have uh, better results. As one of our very first steps, towards actually walking the top. So, the rest is up to you, be part of it. That is the way forward for the African we want. We have the number of the people who are 25 years old. And the number of the people who are 66 years old. So, there is a big difference, and there is a big difference in understanding the problem, and there is a big difference in We recognize the struggle, and without you, the previous generation, we wouldn't exist. You paved the way for many of us. But we also have our own battle now and we need you to support us. The previous generation is trying to like, give us a torch to continue, but we don't want to inherit systems that we didn't co-design. We need to collaborate right now and co-lead so when we are in, in, in that space, uh, we can do a better job than you, you know? I think after that wonderful and very powerful statement by Aya, we all in this room need to move with speed before we all lose our jobs because it looks quite, <laughs> quite clear that the future is here. Please keep shaking things up. Let's shake things up. They're also shaking things up. Let's shake things up. Let's, Let's shake, shake things up. Yes. <laughs>